Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just thinking about my two greatest loves. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Sexy Hot Anime Men. What if some beautiful corporation somewhere had created a game that had both of them in it? If such a game existed, I would definitely play it. So let's play it. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Snark Sleepy, you are the Sleepy Nation, and today we'll be playing I Love You Colonel Sanders, a finger licking good dating simulator. We get to date Colonel Sanders. What what more is it to even ask? You sleep softly in the morning as the sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay here in this moment forever. Or you could wake up now. No, no, no. Your first day of culinary school and no time to sleep in. Smack that clock up and at them. Throw the clock out the window and stay in bed forever. Ah, uh, yeah, stay in bed. You slept through the whole school year. Jesus. Let, let's try that again. Smack that clock and get up. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling and think about everything you're going to learn at the University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wander. You realize it's a daydream a bit. No, I need to take all this seriously. You burst through your morning checklist. Teeth brush, hair combed, pits deodorized. Nothing can stop you. Look at all the cool anime kids in the corner. What's this button do? Oh, that's just the settings. Yes, nice steamy thing. Yes. Here comes your lifelong best friend, Miriam. She's the most adorable orca person you've met, and you accidentally love her for it. Good morning, bum face. Are you excited for the first day of our lives? Yeah, I'm excited for it. It's just that the morning I made breakfast myself, but when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm not good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam. God, she was raised by some parents. And look at those tears over there. See, we're going to do good. Don't worry about a three-day only semester. Jesus, three-day school year. Seriously? A sweet little girl's already a flair for dramatic. It's prep talker. Remember the last month when your fortune teller told you... To oh, I didn't read that properly at all. The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares. I'm trying to forget her. I know she looks spooky, but she was so sweet. She told you you're destined for great things. Remember that card with fancy looking tower? And that other card featuring the handsome fellow in a red suit? It's Colonel Sanders, isn't it? I waited a long time to meet the handsome fellow I could call my own. I'm sure you will. Blah, blah, blah. You feel her nerves begin to ease. Maybe everything will be okay. Jesus. She caught her own bangs, though. You're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books, a custom engraved measuring spoon out of your hand. Hey, it's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil and has a heart on her boobs. Hello, Ashley, with your KFC drop bottoms. Oh, I didn't see their chicken shins. You leave Bumface's shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. You can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for the fact that she's actually Ashley. But she never had the extra letter to make herself feel better than everyone else. Uh... Across the quad you see Ashley's best friend, Van the Man Man. Uh, Van Van? Oh, he is one sexy piece of meat. Look at them all standing like some absolutely weird freaks. Right, let's give all the plumbers now. Well, yeah. The first day of school is about to start. Remember, for the three-day school year. Oh, this kid's my new favourite. Look at his tooth. He dropped one. Pop. Oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. That should do the trick. I love you. I think you mean thank you. What? <laughs> my name is Pop. I'm named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Oh, his name's Bob. He's just reading the thing upside down because he's an idiot. Oh my god, my teacher is a dog! Oh, and there's a swirl of cherry blossom. This is beautiful. I'm chilly. Somebody closed the window. And then he walks in. Oh my god. That is just a beautiful, majestic beast. This remarkable goatee. Just look at it. It's him. It's... It's my favourite student, Harland. K 
Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. Oh, I'll call you anything. Colonel Sanders. A hush murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders makes his way to the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you. You're not entirely wrong. Pop quiz, yeah! Okay, let's get this right. If train A is traveling to point B and point B is traveling to point how important is to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely! A forest is a tree as chicken is to... A slam dunk! That's wrong. What is the most efficient way of eating its head? Oh, obviously it's a spork. Yes! What food is best for a broken heart? Anything as long as it's prepared to love and not too much salt, camel meat, and a pancake that looks like a silly face. Ah, it's a hard one. I mean, it's probably camel meat, but we'll go with the pancake. That's wrong. What? Is Sprinkles a good boy? He's a talking dog. Yes. Your total score is three out of five. Is that good? It's not perfect, but at least you're not a complete loser embarrassment. Yes. Time for lunch. The cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would be serious about eating. Well, it does. A delicious fragrance rafts through the air. Your nose, your mouth waters. Do you smell that? It must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Oh, God. Is it about... No, I want to apologise for my tardiness. You see, I was... <laughs> Goodbye, students. Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. It's about lunch. It's about lunch. Lunch, lunch, lunch. You know, these mess our pets with the for everyone. What is it? You hold your breath. What is it? What is it? Oh, my God. It's KFC. I need this KFC. Oh my god. Yes. Eat, 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 eat. Oh. Transported you to another dimension. Save the moment. I want to try and identify every flavour. Scrutinising every f Salt? Pepper? Oregano? Basil? Maybe? There's something else. You dig deeper, deeper, even deeper until you find it. Could it be the secret ingredient? He really did it. How bold, how adventurous to use the secret ingredient. You snap out and realize the information meant to be in a secret, but yet, now you know. A mantle of responsibility now rests on your shoulders. As you look around, you realize everyone else is consumed by lunch and you've traveled through space and time. Oh yeah, approach Colonel Sanders. Smiles ever so... Oh, God's sake. I wonder if you take... Uh, I hate reading. <gasps> How bold of you to go out and ask. It's an idea for a new combination of flavours. I love it's got a staff just, just, just out of nowhere. Just a random staff. Okay, what's the rush? It's best only getting started. We've got two more whole days. Aww. Okay. Colonel looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone and leans in and he whispers, just one ingredient. But you can't tell. I use... The secret ingredients. It's something my great grandmother taught me. Secret ingredients? Wow, you'll never have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you get some of you searched. And the secret ingredients definitely isn't a flavor you tasted before. So now you're two ingredients close to knowing the full recipe, but you don't tell Colonel Sanders that. Oh no, I just bummed her off on her own. Um. I know she fancies pop, so she can go off a pop. Yeah. I'm a chef. Oh, Jesus, he's an idiot. Oh, God. She's gonna fall in love with pop, it's fine. Pick a basic dish. Okay. No chef is an island. Okay. Which dish do I want to. Steak tartar. Using octopus. Let's go for mashed potatoes and gravy because KFC and mash is just the best thing I had when I was in America. The fact that they put the gravy on the mash, and then you dip the chicken in the gravy and mash, and then eat the gravy and mash. Oh my god, I need a KFC. I'm going to Asda to buy fried chicken. 
there isn't a KFC where I live for miles. It's like an hour drive. And I don't ever want to drive an hour to get a KFC. But I do want to drive an hour to get a KFC. Oh, yes, the gravy! Look at that! Look at that! Stunning. He holds a spork out to you. You reach out, grab hold of it, but he immediately doesn't let go. The two of you holding the same spork, that small moment, all the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops, and the beautiful Colonel Sanders stares directly at me, and I get a bit of an erection. Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free. Together you dig the utensils, the mashed potato, and lift a healthy spork full up. And then, filled with rage, you fling the spark of mash right at Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold it right there, bum face. Do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders expects better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you better be prepared to eat it wherever it lands. Oh no. Ooh, that is quite impressive. That was pretty good. Okay. Uh oh. Student, no! Student! Student became a ghost! Oh no, no, pop two! Oh. The class bell rings! It seems to be okay. Ghost of students. Hello, I turn into a ghost over here. So you get shaken up by really annoying student all's nonsense. Carl Sanders approach you. Please let me walk you home. Oh my god. It's dark and more a little spooky. The mass we take you made in class today. Before you go on, I want you to know they're not a great reputation for my skills. I didn't even realise I was making them. They were amazing. Taste and remind me of why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Colonel Sanders getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him. I have to find a way. It's inspiring. I need to tell him. Colonel Sanders? Yes, Bumface. There's something I need to tell you. Oh, Van Van! See, when I was a boy, I had a dream that one day I'd be the greatest chef in the world. And every day I've been working towards that dream. Blah, blah, blah. I don't like Van Van. Do it, Van Van. Yes, Van Van. Hmm. I saw you kill that guy. What was his name? So in the distance you hear a long sad sigh. Forget him. We're talking about me. Me, me, me. I'm the hero. Whoa, the spork monster. What the name of God is that? Be afraid. Be very afraid because of me. I'm a monster, see? And is he rhyming on purpose or just a coincidence before you can discuss scientists any further? It's a turn-based fight sequence. What will you do? Defend. Which defense do I choose? Trepidation. Did you feel more powerful? What goes next? Spork goes on the attack. Oh no. You take one damage. Fat lot of good at defense did. Attack! You decide to go on the attack. Cook with love! Uh oh. They grow larger. How will it respond? Attack! What will I use? Cook with love! Okay, it's gonna go bad. Oh no! Cook with love again! Oh no! Vile villain, your reign of terror stops here! Oh my god, a thousand chickens! Pop high power pinch! You saved me! An injured spark monster spews steam into the night. Kill him! Student debt loan reduction! You continue to surprise me, Bumface. The defeated monster left behind a special item. It appears to be the f- Uh oh. Book of magic spells. The last name sound is Borco. That name sounds vaguely familiar. Your blood is pumping. You stand in the middle of the night holding your mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from the battle bus, you realize your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. Without any energy, you keep your eyes open. Darkness overtakes you. 
The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes, not as Alexa making a beeping noise for Hannah's pastor in the background. Give me two moments. He must have helped you go home. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it out without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. In your dreams, you're together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there. Well, of course he is. Sprinkles is the best. Oh, he's flying on KFC. Oh my god, this looks amazing. I want to live in that world. What memories or premonitions? You lie in bed and stare at the ceiling. You can't believe he really used... I need to learn all the spices. And then those secret ingredients. That's what, and it's probably just because he t trusted you so much. It makes sense. We'll go with that. So yeah, that's part one. In editing, I realised that this video is like almost two hours long of raw footage. And I can't cut it up without ruining the story. So you're getting at least a two-parter. Aren't you very lucky, Sleepy Nation? So tune in next time. For more, I love you, Colonel Sanders, a finger licking good dating simulator, or words close to that. I've been Snark Sleepy, you've been the Sleepy Nation, same sleepy time, same sleepy channel. Stay sleepy.